Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I would like to demonstrate a very basic camera for top-down 2D perspective games. So you can see right here I have my camera turned off. Although the character is moving, uh, the camera is just static on the screen, it does not change its position at all. So I'll go ahead and enable this camera so that you can see the difference. It is literally as basic as it can get. Um, wherever the character is on screen, the camera is going to move its position to that, offset by um, basically an XYZ that you set. You'll notice that the Z is set to negative one because in the 2D game we want the camera to be hovering above the, uh, the, the character or the player um, so that it will actually show up on the camera. In addition to that, one last thing is that whenever you do add this script to the cam uh, to the camera itself, you do need to drag the player object that you want to target so that it knows which object to follow around. So here's the script for the camera. It's very, very basic once again. So it has the target as a public game object. That is the creature or the player that we're trying to have the camera follow around at any given time. A default offset, which is Z of negative one and everything else is uh, basically hovering right over the game character with a zero, zero for X and Y. And every single frame, it's going to call fixed update. If it has a target, then it's going to try to transform the camera's position to that target modified by the offset X, Y, and Z. Now these offsets, you can modify those in the uh, Unity Inspector as well. So uh, if you need the camera to be slightly off center, that's what you would use to mess with it. But other than that, literally, um, whenever it detects a change in the character's position, it's just going to adjust the camera's position to match that. Once again, I'll show that one more time by hitting play. And you can see it just follows the character around. Now we can also add an offset. So I'll add an offset of 10. And you can see it's way off center now, but that's an option if you need it. You'd probably not make it that dramatic of an offset, but it's there for you. Uh, so I'll have a link to that camera script in the description uh, for you to go ahead and download. I've been Chris. Hope you find it useful, and I'll see you in my future videos.